Hey guys, Mitch here. With the release of iOS 7 beta for developers or anyone else who wants to get their hand on it, there's been some major design changes, but within iOS 7 there's been some great features that were added to this next generation iOS. So let's go ahead here and take a look. Control Center gives you quick access to the controls and apps you always seem to need right at this second. So you have toggles at the top for your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your airplane mode. Below that you have your brightness, your media toggles, and then some quick apps at the bottom. The new notification center lets you know about new mail, missed calls, to-dos that need doing, and much more. You also have a new feature called Today that gives you a convenient summary of all the things that are happening today, and you also have your all and your missed categories. In addition, the notification center works directly from the lock screen, so no having to unlock your device anymore. Multitasking has always been a smart way to switch between the various apps on your device, but now with iOS 7 you get live previews of each application as these apps are overlaid on top of your background. If you want to delete one from your switcher, just easily swipe up from each application and they will be deleted from your switcher. You can go into different applications by just pressing on them, and if you want to go back into your home screen, just go all the way over to the left and so it will take you back. Camera in iOS 7 allows you to apply filters to still and square photos. You can go ahead and pick a filter and see the effect before you take the picture or take the shot and apply it later. If you ever want to change your mind, you can just remove the filter and take a normal photo. iOS 7 makes it harder for anyone who's not you to use or sell your device by requesting your password when you try to turn off the Find My iPhone. This way your device will always be on and you can always find it if you ever lose it iTunes Radio features streaming radio stations that you'll love from day one from the best selection of music. It can be accessed in the music application and you can create your own station. Here you can choose from the different genres of music or just type in a song or a favorite artist and it will create your own personalized station. This is just like Pandora allowing you to skip throughout the different tracks and you can purchase the track if you do like that current selection of music. Siri is getting faster at answering questions as it will check more sources such as Bing, Wikipedia, and Twitter. Now you can form Wikipedia search results directly from Siri and you can also have extra tasks such as turning on or off Wi-Fi or your Bluetooth mode. The App Store on iOS 7 offers automatic updates. Now when apps have to be updated, they will automatically be updated when you are on Wi-Fi or on your 4G network and there's no longer those red badges. In addition, your update will be notified within the notification center as well. iOS 7 offers a great feature of blocking people from contacting you on your device. Now you can browse throughout the different contacts of who you want to block and you will not receive any phone calls, messages, or FaceTime from the people on your block list. Spotlight on iOS 7 has transformed from a dedicated page to a search result as you swipe down from your home screen on your device. Then you can go ahead and type up what you want to search from your device, hit the search button, and it will queue up a result of all the applications, any recent messages, your notes, and you can easily click on it to go into those apps. App folders have also been updated, allowing you to add as many applications within each folder as you would wish. So now you're not limited to the max amount of apps within each folder, so you can add tons of games, utilities, in each individual folder, and they will be added to the different pages iOS 7 weather offers a feature that allows you to see all the weather conditions by just pinching together. It will display the time, the location, and the temperature, and you can also change out from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and all the background images will be loaded up if it's raining or snowing or sunny. The clock application on your home screen is now live. You will no longer see an image of a specific time, but now you will see the second hand as it will go around the time, showing you the current time on your device. The wallpapers in iOS 7 are now dynamic, so as you tilt your device and move, the wallpaper will adjust to how you are tilting your device, whether it is on the lock screen or on your home screen. Now, Apple does offer some dynamic wallpapers and more will be included, and you can also add panoramic wallpapers as you tilt the device, so will the image. Your photos are now categorized by moments, collections, and years within your photos applications. So now wherever you go, they will be categorized of where you actually took the photo, which is a great option. In addition to that, you also have some sharing options for your photos. So now when you click on the edit, you can select your photo if you want to share it via AirDrop or any of the social media networks of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, iCloud. And then you also have some options at the bottom of copying it or applying as a background iOS 7 introduces some great new features in all of the supportive devices. If you want to get your hands on iOS 7 beta, make sure you check out the description below. If you guys want to see any more features, let me know in the comment section below. Anyways guys, I'll see you all in the next one.